Welcome to Spotlight On, the show where Broadway stars, celebrities, and influential people take a step out of the spotlight to shine it bright on a cause that's near and dear to them, and we introduce you to an amazing organization within that cause. We're continuing our Pairs That Care series, and we have quite a pair for you today. I'm very excited to welcome Andy Kelso of Kinky Boots and Sheila Coyle of Manhattan Dolls. Thanks, guys, so much for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you nice for the time. Here. So happy to be here. So you guys are definitely a couple in the spotlight, for sure. Talk to me a little bit about your theater experience. Um, well, I uh, started at the beginning. I, was, uh, I went to school at University of Northern Colorado and got a theater degree. And then um, after living in the Denver area um, for about a year, I moved out to New York and just started auditioning. I made my Broadway debut in uh, Mamma Mia and um, did that for a few years and then uh, did like the Wicked tour for a little while. And now I'm currently in Kinky Boots playing the role of Charlie Price. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I grew up outside of Philadelphia in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Um, I went to Westchester University. Go Rams. Go and, Rams. Uh, yeah. And then I immediately, following college, actually finished my last semester on tour with uh, Rent the Musical. And then I moved here, continued working as an actor, doing regional productions, and joined the Manhattan Dolls about six years ago. And it has been a really awesome ride. It's a, a really great group of gals that put on a wonderful show, uh, doing 30s and 40s music and 50s and 60s as well. The veterans and veterans uh, associations and, and the veterans themselves are very important to both of you. It's a cause that you've chosen to shine the spotlight on, so to speak. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, when I first started with the Dolls, um, obviously this music, the music we started with was just our 30s and 40s show, um, which is you know, obviously the World War II era, which was a very huge time in history. And what these people went through was so emotional and so important to our country, um, what, what all happened in that time. Um, and so when we first started, we would see the way that it affected those people, especially in the shows and the bigger concerts and stuff we would do. So we wanted to really bring that music to them. Finally, this year, I guess now it's been a year, um, Valerie Lynn Williams was able to really head up this Day with the Dolls to really, really bring that to light, to be able to have it so that we can afford to get there for these people that can't afford, you know, these retirement communities and veterans hospitals. Um, they just don't always have the budget. You know, so it's important that we can still make sure that those people can be touched as well. We are putting the spotlight on Day with the Dolls today, and I have program director Valerie Lynn Williams with me. So tell us a little bit about Day with the Dolls. So what Day with the Dolls is, as Sheila had mentioned earlier, we've been performing for veterans, senior centers, hospitals for many years since the inception of the Dolls, which we're now in our sixth season. And we decided last year that we wanted to be able to reach more and more centers because, um, as we're all aware, with any sort of charitable foundation, finances are always a very real issue. And we kept getting inquiries where we would sometimes have to either turn them down or say maybe we'll try if we can make it, let's see if the girls can volunteer. What's fantastic about the Dolls as well is they're not only talented performers, but each and every one of us has our own connection to what we do. I know Sheila spoke about her grandmother. Um, also, my grandparents were both World War II veterans. So we all have some sort of connection like that. So it really is truly meaningful to us beyond just singing. You know, we, we also yearn to make that musical connection. So it's as beneficial for us as it is for the patrons and residents. Obviously, funds are important, but do you? what else do you need? How can we help? How can we get involved? How can the viewers get involved with Day with the Dolls? They can email us directly through our website. Our email is themanhattandolls at gmail.com. The whole purpose of Spotlight On is for you to look into your heart, figure out a cause that really speaks to you and how you can get involved. And as Valerie just said, funds are needed, supplies are needed. Possibly you have a car that you're not using that maybe would be like that you could donate for you know just a, a few hours. Um, so as always, we ask you, what do you shine your spotlight on?